I'm joined by Christina Cook, NASA astronaut, class of 2013. You graduated from that class in 2015. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, what's the training like once you're selected to be an astronaut? Well, it's more rigorous than even I could have imagined because they take, you know, the whole class in my situation, eight people, different backgrounds, and make us all into the type of person that can be responsible for the International Space Station or eventually a mission to Mars. So one of the first things they do for those of us that didn't have an aviation background is we get to learn how to fly high performance jets. For me, that meant going to a flight school, a military flight school for a couple of months, and then coming back to NASA and learning how to fly our supersonic jets which are the T-38. And the reason astronauts fly them is what we call space flight readiness training. And the idea is to take people like me that are engineers and scientists, you know, we're used to solving tough problems um, locked up in our labs or computer rooms, and making us able to handle multiple inputs at a given time and do multiple things and multitask to solve real problems um, in situations that are critical. So. Um, after that sort of training was done for myself, I moved on to learning about space station systems, all the life support systems, the power systems, the thermal systems, command and data handling systems, communication systems, basically all the things that make this awesome spacecraft that we call a space station. All the while, we're learning how to speak Russian because obviously we're sharing their space station with Russians right now and we're launching um, from the Russian space station on the Russian rockets right now. So the international aspect of the program is really exciting and that's one thing we had to train for. We also learned robotics, so we learned how to operate the robotic arm on space station. That's used to capture our cargo vehicles, and it's also used to assist in spacewalks. Sometimes there's actually an astronaut on the end of that robotic arm to reach certain spots on station. So that was an exciting part, and then all kinds of other training. Um, we learn about the science on board. We learn about teamwork and what we call at NASA expeditionary behavior, trying to learn how to work well um, in a group of people and to be efficient and to get the mission done and to make sure that all the interpersonal stuff is feeding into that and benefiting that mission.